Now the purpose of this project is to create a CDS view on a SAP standard table called S flight table. So I'll take a couple of fields from S flight and then build a CDS view and see the data in the CDS view. And when we create a CDS view, automatically in the backend, a view gets created in, in the in the SC11 table, in this 11 transaction. So we can normally log on into SAP log on pad, SAP GUI log on pad, and then check that there. So we'll go ahead with the right right click on this view other repository of this. Then we have something called CDS core data services. In the core data service services, we'll have something called data definition. So this is data definition language. So data manipulation language, data query language is normal ABAP, ABAP languages, data, data definition or data query language, where we can only see the data, but here we can also manipulate data. So we'll go ahead with data definition, click on next. And then we have to go for ZVA underscore. S flight S flight data So here I'll create something like on the top first line we need to create an SQL view name. I'll create it as ZBA underscore S1. You can give any name, but it should not be same as uh, the view name. The view name is ZBA underscore S flight, and the SQL view name is ZBA underscore S1. And now here we'll create a S flight. Control space. If you just see control space, you will have all the fields coming in. Comma. You need to have the uh, comma between the field and field on it. Comma. Plain type. Have, uh, FL date. So I'm giving, I'm taking just four fields from that uh, particular table. So all that I have done is that I have changed the SQL view name on the top. I've given the SQL view name as zba underscore sl and here i have given this is the name that i have given even before we came to the screen and then we have select from s flight and these are the fields that we have here so we will click on this syntax check then we will go for activate and once we go for activate and once it's activated you can actually run this view as in a web application and we can get the data there so whatever data is there in that table we can get so this is a view that we are creating on a single view single table we are creating it in a single table uh, that's s flight table you can also use the same um, you know same serial view concept to get the data from multiple multiple tables so let me now show you in the sap normal logger that this view gets created there also in SC11. But we are if you observe here we are writing the code and creating it. That's the special difference.
So once we log in into HC11 and click on this view, I'll go for ZVA star. You can see this ZVA underscore S1, and you can see that as a view. You can see this as a view here. This is what we have. So this is a view, and this ZB and its correspond whatever we created on the top is now appearing in the SAP normal logo, and there you can see all the fields. MNDT is by default created. Carried con it plain date, plain type, and default date are the fields that we have selected, and those are appearing at the SAP logo, SAP server. This is what they have. So this is a CDS view based on one particular uh, table. Now let's go for a CDS view on multiple tables. So multiple tables in the sense, let's take, we'll take two tables, SCAR and SCAR and uh, SFlight. So let's build a CDS view with a join on these two tables. We have done it with a single table. We'll do it with two tables. Right click on the CDS view, new. Data definition. Here you can go ahead with ZVA underscore. SLI flights. Flight data. Now here when you click on next, we will go for view with join. So we will make use of two tables, S, S carry and S type and then we will go. So we'll go with view join and then click on finish. And now we have to select the name of this SQL is underscore S2 Z B underscore S2. left outer join as flight on the common field as care dot carry equal to s flight dot carry so 
So here we'll just go for control space and I'll go for carry. The moment I select carry, automatically it will take it from S carry. So then we have S carry name. Then we have to go. So let's go for another one. Uh, FL date. Then I'll go for S flight. You can select the entire structure also. So, but what happens here is like it will become two way long. Okay, I'll go for this plane type. So these are the fields that we have. We'll go for the save. We'll go for the save. And once we save it, we'll activate it. Syntax check. Once it's activated, we can go ahead and execute this as an ABAP application. And now you can see the data from both the tables. Okay, maybe see maximum. Okay, so these are all the values. A few of the fields are coming from first table and few of the fields are coming from the second table. And the join condition is A. So we can do a lot of options, lot of possibilities here for, uh, uh, you know, this uh, CDS view. Wherein we can also use the parameters to restrict the data. And we can do uh, we can we can create it with association. So association is similar to inner join, but we can actually add a view in a view. Means what we can do is we can use a view in another view uh, as a as a table. So we can say let's say we have two two tables. You can join two tables and create a view, and then we can make use of that view in another view as a table. So we can join my. Uh, it can be a multi-level, but it's not possible in ABAP. ABAP you can create a view with tables, but you cannot create a view with views. You cannot do that. Okay, so let us now go ahead and create this program. Uh, this program we are creating here is actually for is to simply access the data. This program is simply to access the data that we have uh, in the series. So let's go ahead and create the program. So this is a simple program that I created. I just right click on the source code and new and program. So and then I created this program, I populated this and gave the name and the description and date called save. Now our main purpose is to get the data from there. So we'll go ahead with uh, select start from zva underscore uh, we have s uh, i what i did is after zva i just typed control space and automatically these two will come so this flights is the one which i want to take it from because this is a table this is the view that we have got from both the tables we have access from both the tables so we'll go ahead with this one and now in the select start from zba flights into so into uh, we need to create an internal table so normally we'll copy the data into the internal table right so we'll go for z select start from zba flights into table at the rate data of it underscore fl so this it underscore fl i'm creating it dynamically here itself this is called inline declaration in inline declaration you don't have to create it before you have to, you can create it then and there itself on the ad hoc dynamically we are creating it 
Now system understands that IT underscore FL is the, is, the, is the table that we are creating which is of type ZB underscore S, ZB underscore types. This is what we have. Now we will have CL underscore demo underscore output Sale and score demo and score output implies display display and in the bracket we have tried that table name it underscore fl space this is what we have now select start from zb underscore flights into table at the rate data it underscore fl cl underscore demo underscore output implies display it underscore fl now what are we doing here is instead of writing that big loop statement and all, we are simply writing the standard class in which we already have a st uh, static method which we are calling here. The select star that we are writing here is actually getting the data from the from the view to the table. This is what we are doing here. Save it. Do the syntax check. Activate. And once we activate it, we can run as a web application. So now you get this data in the form of a pop-up. This pop-up, the pop-up of the data is coming because we have used that class. Otherwise, it would have come in a normal output, but this is coming with data, with headings and all, everything. So this pop-up is also coming here. This is what we are doing here. What we are doing here is like we are getting the data from the table into the internal table this is not even a table this is a cds view we are making use of cds view which in turn gets the data from these two tables called uh, scar and s flight and then we are we are copying it into the internal table and we are creating the internal table here only the it underscore fl is not created anywhere it is created here only you can change the name also i'll go for this as s flight It's your choice. Anything can be done. Now, the same thing I have to use here also. S flight. So, whatever we gave here, we should give here. That's it. Now, it works fine. It can be your name also. Run as a web application and you will get this data there. So in this session, we successfully created three things. One is CDS view with single table. And uh, then we have the CDS view using two tables. And then CDS view, uh, use of CDS view in using the CDS view in program. In program so this is what we have these are three things that we have so yeah. that's it for in this session and uh, catch up in another session so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel and also do not forget to like the video and share the video with your friends